With our S3 bucket ready to go, now we need to create a user to access it. We can do this through another service called IAM, which stands for Identity and Access Management. Let's go back to the Services menu and open IAM. The process here is first we're going to create a group for our user to live in, then create an access policy giving the group access to the S3 bucket we created, and finally assign the user to the group so it can use the policy to access all our files. Let's start by creating a group. I'll click Groups, then create a new group called Manage Boutique Ado. You can call your group whatever you want, but try to give it a name that makes sense to you for what it is. I'll click Next Step, and then Next Step again since we don't have a policy to attach yet, and finally Create Group. Now we can create the policy used to access our bucket by clicking Policies, and then Create Policy. I'll go to the JSON tab, and then select Import Managed Policy, which will let us import one that AWS has pre-built for full access to S3. I'll search for S3, and then import the S3 Full Access Policy. Now here we don't actually want to allow full access to everything, we only want to allow full access to our new bucket and everything within it. So I'm going to get the bucket ARN from the bucket policy page in S3, and paste that in here. With this done, we have all S3 actions allowed, both on our bucket itself and on everything in it. Now I can click Review Policy, give it a name and a description, and then click Create Policy. This takes us back to the Policies page where we can see our policy has been created. Now let's attach the policy to the group we created. I'll go to Groups, click my Manage Boutique Ado group, click Attach Policy, search for the policy we just created and select it, and click Attach Policy. Finally, I'll create a user to put in the group. On the Users page, I'll click Add User, create a user named Boutique Ado Static Files User, give them programmatic access, and then select Next. Now we can put the user in our group, which as you can see here, has our policy attached. We don't need to change anything else, so I'll click through to the end and then click Create User. Now I'll download the CSV file, which will contain this user's access key and secret access key, which we'll use to authenticate them from our Django app. It's very important you download and save this CSV, because once we've gone through this process, we can't download them again. To review, in this video we've created a group, attached an access policy to it that allows full S3 access to our bucket, and created a user that's part of the group and who has their own special access keys. In the next video, we'll configure Django to connect to S3 using these keys and upload all our static files to S3.